Welcome to my channel, this is Anna Breeze, and today I'm just going to explore how we can navigate through big life changes or growth cycles in our life in a way that is uh, a bit easier, a bit more in flow, a bit more peaceful and harmonious. So it's really looking at um, where we're coming from, how, how we're interacting with what's going on before us. So it's really the relationship between ourselves and what's happening in our circumstances that depends um, on whether we're going to be uh, resisting that change, resisting the contrast, resisting um, the uh, unpleasantness, let's say, um, of, of whatever's happening. So it's kind of just looking at where we're coming from, because if we identify as a personality that is based on our mind, our thinking and our emotions, then when we interact with our circumstances, we're going to get caught up in what's going on uh, directly. It's like there's this very, very intimate relationship going on. Um, between the world of thoughts and emotions and the world of form. So if we're coming from body identification, bodily identification, if we're coming from being identified with our mind and emotions and from the assumption that that's who we are, then our relationship with what's happening out here um, can be a bit more um, tumultuous because we're kind of going to rub up against you know the egos and others and also um, circumstantially how we're viewing what's happening as well um, because we're going to see it as happening to us you know happening to me so it depends on what your what your assumption of me is so who do you think you are basically if, if the assumption is that I am my mind, my body, my emotions and the world of form out here is real and everything's like really happening to me, then that's going to cause more friction and going to be a harder journey of struggle and strife. So, but if we, if we kind of realise that we are prior to our mind and emotions, if we are awareness, if we are coming from a place of awareness and observing the world from a more detached position, then we can see that what's going on out here, we can observe it as almost like a phenomenon, phenomena. And the same goes for the mind and the emotions. So the thinking and the emotions are just phenomenal experience. They're part of that phenomenal experience um, that is ongoing in the world. Appearances arise out of consciousness and then they, they fall back to where they came from. So if we can observe what's going on in our world and we're not identified with the, the person, if we're not identified with the personal thoughts, the personal emotions, and taking everything so personally and so and and so literally, if we can kind of step back and see that, you know, everything is, is unfolding um, before us, and we're sort of, you know, back in, in the driver's seat, so to speak, you know, we can just watch what's happening, you know, the gears are changing, the windscreen wipers are moving, um, you know, the wheels turning, the indicators are going on. There's like all these multi levels of appearances that are going on, but we're not what's happening. <laughs> so we're not the mind and the emotions that are arising in the moment. And we're not the, the, the happenings that are going on either. So we don't have to get swept up in the happenings. That's optional. And it's what generally we do. We get caught up in the happenings. Um, so one of the ways that we can um, 
not be caught up so much in the happenings and so identified with it that you know we get caught in the drama and then the emotional body gets activated if we can observe and come from this place of pure awareness or that we know that we are that which is before what appears if we can relate more to pure awareness itself pure consciousness because everything is consciousness everything comes out of consciousness so therefore we are that which you know projects into this world of form so by observing and being in the state of awareness we can we can we're more in a um a condition not, not a condition we're more in a state of being that can embrace the polarity that can embrace the duality in the world of form because we're not identified with it so so suffering is really where you're coming from you know in relation to what's going on out here so it's our relationship to ourselves and then consequently our relationship to the world of form that determines whether we're going to suffer or not suffer um, so the pain or challenge um, is there to also help us expand and grow so anytime we're experiencing discomfort or challenge in our world if we can actually come from a place of non-identification with what's happening but we're allowing it to happen with unconditional love we're allowing it with unconditional allowance and non-identification with what's happening because we're we're not we're not that you know we're not our mind we're not our emotions so we can view what's happening in the world and then it's optional about how we respond to what's happening in the world because we're not just in reactive mode because there's less of a being caught up in the phenomena and what's going on so instead we can embrace knowing that it's you know everything is temporary that appears you know all of it is temporary whether it's pleasure whether it's pain it's all temporary um, and so we're not that which is temporary how can you be you know so it's like everything else comes and goes in the world of form but awareness or consciousness is it's what the world of form is made out of and you are that so you are that which appears before <laughs> you are that which is before the appearances before the world of form so when these life changes happen or periods of contrast or discomfort or change something big's happening in our life it's it's a transitionary phase into something new it's how everything is birthed you know labor is not the most you know ecstatic experience in most people's experience there is pain in the birthing process but once the baby arrives you know there's so much joy and happiness and then a new phase begins so sometimes these periods of you know like transition where we're moving from one part of our lives into the next phase is is a temporary um discomfort that it, but it's because something new is being birthed so again if we're not identified with what's going on and understand that you know life is about change life is about cycles of change and that there's always going to be shifts and turns and so we can start to navigate through these periods of transition without resistance because it's the resistance to um, or rejection of you know what is that can cause contraction in our own psyche so we can become contracted when we're resisting change you know um, and resistance can be come in the form of anger you know um, blame uh, grief all these kind of things all these emotions and it's not that we're not allowing these emotions to, to come if they're there okay that's another video but it's like you know I'm not saying don't feel you know it's it's okay to feel these emotions as we're going through the changes but 
in order to make the changes easier that we go through, we don't have to like clench up and become, you know, contracted and, and resist those changes. So if we can learn to flow with basically the polarity of life, you know, the polarity of opposites, the, you know, sometimes things are going the way you want them to, and then sometimes they're not going the way you, the, that you want them to. But when, when you're in that state of thing, it seems like there's obstacles or it seems like there's, you know, you, you can't move in the direction that you want to, instead of resisting it, just allow it to be there, you know, and, um, you know, because it is, it's just life happening, you know, it's, you know, what's the point of resisting what's happening in, in the now, in the here and now. So we're only suffering when we're res in resistance to the here and now or in judgment of it. So if we can let go of our judgment and our resistance to basically what's appearing now, then there's going to be less, um, uh, less resistance, but less, uh, less struggle, less suffering. So we're just learning to go with the flow and these cycles of flow and realize that when sometimes it feels like things are flowing and then sometimes it feels like, you know, you've come to a hole or you're, you're up against something. And it's like just, you know, being able to, to see that and knowing that it will shift and that something will, it will the energy will shift at some point um, because there's all sorts of things going on. You know, there's astrological influences, there's all sorts of conditional uh, influences that we're probably not even aware of that could be part of why something's being blocked at a specific time. And uh, it could be for your own protection as well. So I hope that was helpful and um, I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like and share with your network. So until next time, namaste. Bye.